<clears throat> Hello, everybody! Welcome to another Daily Devo in the month of March. Today is Tuesday, March the 2nd. And video number 281. Just 19 more videos until video 300. Can you believe that? 300 video 300 video is almost here and just think May 27th will be one year of videos once I get done with the May 27th video that day it'll be one year 365 days of videos Well, it may not be days straight, because I've had some days where I've not been able to post on that day, and then have to shoot that gun in there, because that stupid thing popping up on screen again. Sorry. I hope you don't see that. I have a thing pop up on my screen, so it probably don't come in in the recording. So, because to be in the recording, it's got to pick the camera's got to pick it up, so it shouldn't pick it up on the screen. So. You have to give me a second to get it cleared, but but today we're gonna to be talking about the unperfect substance. So stay tuned for that one year anniversary. I'll, I'll be doing a special vi another video that day where I'll be having maybe just a, maybe if I get to where I'm where I want to go, maybe I'll get together with a bunch of new friends that I make where I'm going and we can get together and if they can't get to me they can log in log into the chat and we'll walk, I'll do a live video and we can just sit there and con conversation back and forth like just sitting there just having a good old time somebody could bring up something like, oh yeah I remember that the other day like you know you know, you can have just have a conversation. They don't have to be there, right there with you, but they could be right there watching, and they could be chatting with you through the through the chat. So, all that live video stuff is all new to me. It's still it's still new to me. I still haven't got any um body to comment, although I have one, which is one of my one of my subscribers on my channel. He does comment every now and then. But he hasn't commented lately, so the last video I don't think I think he was watching, but I'm not wasn't sure. Cause there was like two or three on the list saying watching and all of a sudden I'm down to one. Which was me. If you're ever doing a live and all you have is one on your counter, that means that you're doing them your own online you're the only one there but if you get up to two three four you've got other people watching so but unperfect substance today we're going to start off with psalm 139 16 sorry for that little rambling at the beginning but i'm just trying to make content so just trying to make a com little conversation about stuff so sorry for the camera the color changing it's just the way it does it out here sometimes this is, let's see, Psalm 139, 16. Sorry, I started to go, go off into the thing before I read the verse. It says, Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance was fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. I'm sorry. So this is an amazing verse, it says. So testifying as it does to the omniscient foreplanning of our Creator for each human being, each person has been separately planned by God before he or she was ever conceived. His eyes oversaw our unperfect, not imperfect, but unfinished substance. That is literally our embryo. Throughout its entire development, not only all its members, but all but also all of its days, the literal implication of its incontinuance 
has been written in God's book long ago. So before we were ever thought of, God had us in mind. And if you're a faithful Christian right now, God had that plan long before you ever hear. And see, God had this plan here, me doing these videos, long before I was ever born. He knew one day that I was going to be doing this on a daily basis, not caring who trying to do this and not care if anybody hindered what I was trying to do. Because I get looked at my brother wrong way about this. He don't understand why I do this. But hey, I do it because I'm sharing the gospel with everybody. Even if I don't get people to watch it, the videos are there when somebody wants to watch one. If you watch them, you watch them. If you don't, you don't. One of these days, I'm going to get other people to start watching these videos, and I'll, get, I'll start getting more views, more views, more views. And you never know. I might get a going, channel going real good and start getting, a, getting paid for it. And then those when people start watching these old videos, I'll get I'll get back backlog for all the hard work, all the study, steady continuance of putting these videos out. And then one day I'll start getting I'll start getting compensated for it, which I'm not doing this for the compensation, but I would love to have that secondary. I'm not doing this for the money when I do start doing it. But I'm doing this to share the gospel with people on YouTube. So if you do watch it, then it's fine. <laughs> Let's get back to that. So it says, while modern evolutionists argue that a fetus is not yet a real person, and so may be casually aborted if a mother so chooses, which, that's not right. Both the Bible and science show that a growing child in the womb is a true human being. Instruments called fetoscopes have been able to trace every stage of embryonic development, showing that each is distinctly human, never passing through any non-human evolutionary stages such as the evolutionist theory of recapitulation. Would imply. Ooh, that's a it's a new word. I've never had never never had to say that word before. Recap itulation. Recapitulation. I guess that's how you would say it real fast. So not much is known how about how a baby received its soul, but the baby is surely an eternal human being from the moment of conception with all its future days already well known in the mind of God. And when as yet there were none of them, as our text point out. But that's not all. But that's not all, it says. All those who are saved are like the innocents who die before birth, safe in Christ. So if a child is born, but doesn't survive the birth the child goes back to heaven never having able to c compete in the world he doesn't know sin the baby does not know sin I don't think if the baby's born I think when it starts moving around and everything then they know sin well children to a certain age doesn't know sin. I don't think they get uh, probably school age and they start getting know how to do to know sin. So then they would have to be like that. But I don't think babies one to one to maybe right up right up to being called years old Probably, I guess you could say two, because right up to two, you you're using months. You're saying you're a year old or you're twelve months old. 
because they they go from one to two years it goes 13 14 15 months when they're talking when you're looking for clothes they do that they go right up to two years and then they start saying 2t 3t 4t like that after that but Dang it! Every time I move up against this daggum gas jug over here for the lawnmower, every time I put a little bit of pressure, all I can smell is the fumes. Right. It says, but not all. But that's not all. All those who are saved are like the innocents who died before birth, safe in Christ. And whose names, therefore, are written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world, Revelation 13, 8, are also predestined, Romans 8, 29, to be conformed to the image of his Son in the ages to come. So right there, when babies die before ever having a chance to live on this earth, they're... They're basically they go they they go to heaven immediately. Their souls go back to heaven. God saw something that the the, the young child was going to go through and didn't like it, didn't like the plan for that child, so he takes the child back to earth, to heaven. So that's all I have for today. Ooh. The, Thursday's passage in the book it's crazy it's like they had a little bit too much ink on the, the top of the page but it's all dark <laughs> it's like bold print but tomorrow for Wednesday March the 3rd in video number 282 right 80 81 yeah 82 we're gonna be living in the real world we're gonna beginning with Isaiah 65 Verse 17. So, I really didn't have very much that I did yesterday, but I hope you look forward to that. I'll be getting this just, I'm going to try to get the rest of the weeks done in this one sitting from where I'm at on Sunday afternoon. And then I'll get to, uh, I'm going to try to get right up to Saturdays done. Then Sundays I'll get done later in the week I'll start the next week later in the week because starting Sunday through Thursday it's gonna be a hymn I'm gonna talk about another classic hymn so I could do those five together in one sitting and then a few days later I'll get I'll try to get Friday Saturdays and Sundays the next week is done so I want to try to do at least, at least get the whole week done Get a couple videos uploaded for the week. And then the next day or so, get another couple d put up. I don't want to put them up at one time. But if I do like three videos in one seating, I could put all three of those up. But if I do more than that, I could just do a few of them at a time. And then get them up later. But, but that's that. But with that said, I love you. Appreciate you. Keep on keeping on and trusting God and trying to trying to keep safe from this in these perilous times we're in now. And peace out until tomorrow, everybody. <whistles> Goodbye. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday and a wonderful rest of your week. Goodbye.